Before this episode of the podcast begins, I'd like to give you a huge thank you to every single one of you that supports the podcast. I'm on a current goal to 100 subscribers before the end of the year. If that does happen, people, I'll be bringing live content to the podcast in 2021. 2020 hasn't been a fantastic year, but 2021 will be much better uh, for multiple reasons. But on the podcast, it'll be much better as well. Sam's absolutely bloody fantastic, if you ask me. If you hit the subscribe button and you hit that like button on this episode of the podcast, it's a great way to support the podcast and make it go in the right direction and and grow it as quickly as possible. Thank you again, everybody. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the podcast. For multiple reasons, inaccurate passes, we created bugger all, Um, we didn't have a system, we didn't have any passion, we looked to sleep, we lacked sharpness. How can we lack fitness? How can a team lack fitness when we ain't played a league game in two weeks? And we still look like we haven't played it. We still look like we've played every single day. This is the normality now. It's going to be a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. And that's if we don't get games postponed. Ironic. Well, that, that was uh, absolutely horrific. And to make matters worse as well, I've actually already recorded this episode of the podcast, but the uh, microphone wasn't recording properly. So we're going to have another go. Which is really difficult, obviously, because I've now got to remember which of what I've said and what I haven't said. I haven't said anything at the moment. Um, the performance today was really, really bad. I'm not going to do too much of it. I did just record a quite a long one of it, but I actually think that I've actually looked back and I wasn't really happy with it because I think I actually gave it a lot much more. Th- I actually sort of spoke and repeated myself because I was that frustrated. To be honest with you, I, I, I'm really going to be interested to see what you think of this game because I think, to be honest with you, today was really, really bad. The, we, finished, we finished the game 2-0. Um, we got outclassed, we got outbeaten, we got outfought, we got out tacticked. Um, from the day, from from kickoff, really, they got into our red from the start. Um, they played very well, crew. I think they played very, very well. But for us, we were not good. We were not good whatsoever. Um, yeah, we 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 we, were, we we looked really quite. Um, it's quite concerning, really. I think that's the most biggest word, really. We, um, if this is a trend to things to happen, I'm concerned for this season. Because um, we look like we're making a bit of progress, and you know, we we a few of the players, the management come out and go, we're on the up. I mean, if that's on the up, I'm really concerned that where we are, and really concerned where we are as a team, because um, today highlighted every single problem that we had this season in one game. This has been the worst game of the season so far. Um, you can get your thoughts on the game down below, of course, in the comments, but you can also get the link in the description to do your ranking show uh, thoughts as well by deciding on based on that performance whether they should go up or down. Um, that'd be interesting. But it was sort of highlighted every single issue we've spoken about in lots of different match reactions. If we could put every single match reaction together today, I think we probably would get the best outcome because it was a mix between... No effort and no desire was the most concerning thing. I, I don't know if which point Carl Robinson needed to sort of go, that's gear one, now we'll go to gear two. We didn't change gear and we just kept doing the same thing over and over again. And that's so concerning. It's so concerning because the the, the ingredients of a bad team is someone is a, is a team that can't score goals and have a shaky defense we've got both and that's the way it is we've got a defense that is so shaky they look so worried and concerned all times we can't pass from the midfield we don't have a midfield sometimes we've got a full selection of players other than Cameron Brannigan that is our strongest team according to Carl Robinson and that is what we perform That is embarrassing. Now, from a fan point of view, I think people sometimes think that fans are stupid. But we, we can't go to stadiums for obvious reasons. But if that was happened at a stadium today, I actually think the Oxford players, and I've never seen it before at the Castle, I don't think, but I actually think they could have been booed off the field. They were, they were that bad. They were that bad. And I always come on here and say, to try and find a positive. We did look at times that we looked okay. The performance was okay. The performance was abysmal. There wasn't a part of that game where I thought we were okay. So if anyone dares say to me that there was an aspect and there was a part of that that was a good performance, I don't want to speak to you because that was awful. That is so bad. 
Imagine if, imagine if as fans we were there today at 7 o'clock at night till 9 o'clock at night in the freezing cold in November watching that. I mean, at least we were inside in the warm watching it or listening to it or whatever you, however you did it, however you got, got hold of the game. But imagine if you were outside watching that game as well, having to sit there in the cold in November, in the winter, and having to watch that. It was frustrating to watch for multiple reasons. Inaccurate passes. We created bugger all. Um, we didn't have a system. We didn't have any passion. We looked to sleep. We lacked sharpness. How can we lack fitness? How can a team lack fitness and we ain't played a league game in two weeks? And we still look like we haven't played. We still look like we've played every single day. This is normality now. It's going to be a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. And that's if we don't get games postponed. Ironic. Because obviously we played crew, which, and I still do think that we are in a problem where we don't have, we can't gather any momen momentum, but we we're unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. People pay whether you're a season ticket holder, I'm a season ticket holder. I get the home games for free, but not really because obviously it's a season ticket. So people and fans pay money to sit and watch that game when money and, and and finances for different people are in different situations i don't know how what i can sort of do how i put this but let's put it that way it's not it's not free to watch that and that was unacceptable absolutely awful and i've just seen this car Robinson state right now and i'll read it out because I've already filmed it once, but I, I, the problem with the first one was, I know it didn't record properly, but anyway, uh, it was just unacceptable, it's just simple, we're far, um, from afar you'd go, is, some, is there something going on behind the scenes, it looked like those performances, we just looked off it, and I think we looked more than just off it, Carl Robinson, we looked far from it, we looked so far from where we were last season, we looked like a different team, we looked like we've lost five players, let alone just one and an injury. We look like we've lost half the team. And that's and that's the way it is. We look like we've lost key parts of a team. It's not trying to do a jigsaw puzzle, but taking out every single important piece of the puzzle, which is every piece. We look confused, we look panicky, we look shaky, we look worried. We look bad, we look abysmal. I mean, what sort of match analysis do you want me to give here? We were terrific. We were awful. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. To be able to... How, we're signing players in the summer, and we came on here, and I was pretty... And I don't want to be a flip-flop, and I've said it before. I was happy with the business. We signed eight or nine or however many players we signed in the flipping January, in the, in the summer transfer window, right? Every single one of those players so far, I don't think I look at right now and go... Yeah, he was really good. He's changed this season. He's improved the squad. We put Derek Osai, who scored the winning goal against Warsaw. He's not even registered in the flipping squad. We can't even play him in the league. I think Derek Osai would have suited this game. I mean, anyone would have suited this game other than the 11 players that played and came on. 13 players that came on. 14. And the more great maths. But it might, it might have been 13, because Winnell played, what, 10 minutes and then came off? I mean, how many times do you see a player come on and come off, come on as a substitute and then just come straight back off again? Why are we bringing players on that aren't clearly fully fit? Why are we signing players that aren't fully fit? Obviously, there's a reason why he got, um, why he was released and why he's not, why he wasn't at a club. Because he can't stay fit. I'm sure he's a great footballer. I'm sure he has got some of the great goals. I'm sure when we do announce a signing on Twitter, we show every single fantastic goal he scored for Sheffield Wednesday on our releasing announcement video. But if he was such an amazing player that always stayed fit and always scored goals, surely he'd still be at Sheffield Wednesday, and it's so harsh but so true. Like, surely if he was sure, like, how can we say that we go to the bench and Garrison looks behind him and goes, "Right, lads, who's going to make an impact today? Because we need someone's going to make an impact." I know. Let's go and bring someone. I did. I know that Garrison didn't obviously know that he was going to come injured, but he obviously knows that there's some sort of reoccurring issue with Sam Winner and injuries. Clearly, because he's not what well, he wasn't at his club. We signed him. He took ages to get fit anyway. Missed the preseason. We gave a preseason. Whatever. That's understandable. Comes back into it. Plays ninety minutes against Walsall, whatever it was. 
probably wasn't nine minutes. I don't know. I wouldn't watch the game. Played. I mean, he started against. He started against uh, Warsaw, and he can't play. He plays ninety minutes or seventy minutes or whatever minutes of football he played, and he can't play. He just comes off injury, hamstring injury. There we go. Too early to tell how bad it is. Oh, I just give up, man. I absolutely give up. Another column, so I feel the support of staff are giving everybody they possibly can to give the players what they need, but I don't think it's recoup uh, re recuperated. Recoup, that was it. Yeah. Reciprocated. I don't even know. I don't even know. Just, um... I think what he's trying to say is I don't think the players are giving anyone back. And I think that's the fact. I don't think they're giving the fans anything back. I don't think they're giving the management staff anything back. Uh, there'll be people that want Carl Robinson to go. But that isn't going to happen. I don't think it really is Carl Robinson's fault. When you think what Carl Robinson's done to this football club last season, he did a great job. But ultimately this season, it's been really, really bad. I don't think Carl Robinson got much right today, though. I think we did get absolutely out tactics from the get-go. I do think that we actually looked really looked like we'd been beaten in the first ten minutes. We didn't really we didn't get an early, we we struggled to get early goals. Every time we've gone one 0 down this season, we've lost. Uh, we've never come back from a game, obviously, this season in which it, 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 to get a point or any point when we've gone one 0 down. That shows a lack of desire. That shows a lack of ambition. That shows a lack of passion from the players when we go one 0 down. Our heads go down. Don't see any of it. Embarrassing. What's the system? Four three three, four two three. I don't care. Three at the back, five at the back. Eleven, twelve players, fourteen players, twenty four players. We play the entire squad. We play the subs bench as well. What's the system? The players don't know. I actually don't think the players know what was going on today. I, I, so it looked like at times players looked at each other and go, what sport are we playing? They look lost on that pitch. They actually look lost. And I've, it's, we looked like a bunch of people that, again, I don't know, how can we not be sharp? How can we not be, la how can we lack sharpness? Sorry, how can we lack fitness and look run down? At the weekend, we were doing run around the horse path training ground, running around and... Doing these fitness tests. I need more than bloody fitness tests. Why don't you just have football in training? We can do all the tests till the until the until the sun goes down. But let's try and play some football in training. I understand fitness is important, but clearly fitness, uh, clearly football is the issue. We can't pass a ball. The strikers don't get any delivery. The defense doesn't pass to the midfield. The defense gets it and just lobs it. The midfield gets it and just lobs it. Anthony Ford today. Anthony Ford had given so much credit for this season, but today didn't look great. Hey, today didn't look great. Sean Clare. Isn't a fullback harsh, but he isn't a fullback. If anyone comes and tells me he's a fullback, like what? That he's showing no signs of a fullback. I actually don't think he's put in one slide tackle in which you've gone. There he is. That's the confidence he needs for a fullback. He doesn't do it. He runs a bit, but he runs quite quick. He's quite powerful, but he can't defend for cheese. We look to sleep. We looked dead, and watching it, I felt like I was going to go to sleep. I was writing notes down thinking, what on earth am I doing this for? Simple passes. S stupid fouls. How many times? Stupid fouls. I don't need to have every coaching badge under the sun and be paid £1,000 a week to know that when you're losing the game, you don't give them more opportunities to allow them to time waste. Oh, I know. Let's kick them over. Let's push them over. So frustrating to watch. So frustrating to watch. Winnell came on with Obita in the 57th minute. Didn't really do much. Four chances. We had to get it in the box. In the space of about four minutes. We didn't get it in once. We bottled it every time. Passed it around. They had enough time to reset. We passed it back home. So that game of nothing. Couldn't really have got worse. But we did improve at the 60th minute. And then went down in again. Every crew player looked confident and calm on the ball. We looked scared. We did look scared. We looked like we didn't want to play football. And we looked like we didn't know what we were doing. We looked like we've only just been recently introduced to the sport. Um, let's push them over. How the hell has Shadipo played 90 minutes of football? shadipo has been good this season. I've been impressed with Shadipo. I think he's got a lot to offer at this football club. I think he's got lots to, lots to offer as a footballer. But he played 90 minutes of football today and Dan Adji didn't get on the pitch. Dan adji has been probably one of the only players this season which I've gone, he's been quite good. He's been actually quite good. He's looked like quite imp like he could make an impact. He sat on the bench. Instead, we're bringing on players that are coming off injured. Um, McGuane, I, did, I can't remember, touched the ball. And... Who's the other player? Who else did we bring on? Um, McGuane, Winnell, and... Well, he was really impactful, clearly. Because I can remember him really, really well. Obita. 
I literally just said it a minute ago. I beat it, looked okay. Winner came off. It looks like he had a free header as well. He should have scored it for the 10 minutes he was on the pitch. Um, it was unmarked. It, it should. It could have been four as well. It could have been. It could have been worse. It really could have been worse. It could have been about four odd nil, which is awful. We we were embarrassing today. People have to pay to watch that. We should be paid to watch that. That was awful. Absolutely embarrassing. But we go again. Home game, away game. To, we're going to the bottom of the league. But saying that, we should be at the bottom of the league with that performance. We could go down. At what point do you think we should? We could go down? The performance today was embarrassing. Absolutely awful. I'm concerned. Very, very, very concerned. Hopefully you're concerned because I certainly am. Crew, congratulations if you're a Crew fan coming on here. Congratulations. Um, but no, absolutely awful. Absolutely awful today from Oxford United. Embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing. That's all I can say. Thank you very much for listen listening to this episode of the podcast. Sorry, it's not a very upbeat one, but hard to be upbeat with performances like that. Absolutely unacceptable. Embarrassing. And I keep repeating it because I'm so, so frustrated. So frustrated. And um, yeah, gutted, absolutely gutted. But um, I'll see you for the ranking show. Member, leave your thoughts to the ranking show link in the description down below. Click on that link; it will send you to the site where you can decide based on that performance whether they should move up or move down. Also, the same in the ranking show as well. Who's your number one this week? Let me know. Uh, leave the comments down below. Leave your thoughts of the game as well. I'll be very, very intrigued to know. I'll be responding to every single one of you in the comments down below. And until next time, thank you very much for this episode of the podcast. Remember, subscribe, leave a like, and subscribe to the podcast. Turn notifications on as well, so you never miss an episode of the Unfound Podcast. I've been Jack. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you later, people. Goodbye.